On his lock lock, he squeezed qua Jeffrey Soto, Jis Jitsu Unch, Tin Tal Al Quetut. Hello, my friends, my name is Jeffrey Soto, and I'm a member of the Coeur d'Alene tribe. I come from Plummer, Idaho. One of the greatest natural resources to this Jitsu Unch is Lake Coeur d'Alene. The lake was prominent in that it was provided not only for the people of the area, but for natural wildlife as well. We believe the Creator put us here to be stewards of the land and the water and all of its inhabitants. We use the lake for many things, from fishing to use for travel with our canoes. We also harvested many roots and berries. One of our most enjoyed root came from the marsh areas of the lake, water potatoes or skigwits. Early settlers made it difficult for our people to gather skigwits with their dams and their pollution of the waters through mining and dumping waste into the streams that made their ways to the lake. With the assistance of regulations regarding proper waste disposal from the U.S. government and also rulings in 2001 by the U.S. Supreme Court ruled in favor of the Coeur d'Alene tribe in regards to ownership of the southern end of Lake Coeur d'Alene. Ways that the Coeur d'Alene tribe is committed to stewardship of the lake is dedication of $5 million to nutrient management, over $1 million per year spent on fish and wildlife habitat projects, over $1 million per year spent on water quality management efforts, and over 3,000 acres of wetland and riparian habitat protected over the last three years. Through these efforts, the streets Wumpsh are able to return to their culture. Canoeing, fishing, harvesting are all becoming cultural norms once again.